Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Hi, I'm Frankie B. And this tutorial is about how to add a printer and scanner to your Mac computer. Adding a printer to your Mac is not difficult and it is quite a straightforward thing to do. So I'm going to show you how to connect a Wi-Fi printer and scanner to your Mac computer. And the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your printer is turned on and it's connected to your network and that you're logged in to your computer as the administrator so that you'll be able to add and remove programs and make changes to your computer. Now go to this Apple icon logo at the top left hand corner of your screen and click on it and from this drop down menu select system preferences and this dialog box will appear from here click on to this printers and scanner icon right here now the first thing we're going to do is to delete this printer in here now to do this you select your printer and click on the minus sign down here and you will be asked are you sure you want to delete this printer then you will say yes and click on delete printer and that's it it's gone and that's how easy it is to delete a printer scanner or fax from your computer and now we're going to add a printer from a clean slate so the first thing you need to do is is to click on this plus sign here then this dialog box will appear as long as your printer is connected to your network and is turned on it will appear in here select the default printer icon up here and select your printer name from the list down here and down below here the name and user will auto populate for you location you can leave that blank and just click add now your computer will scan the network and find your printer and when it's find your printer it will automatically set up your printer and install your latest drivers and be ready for printing and now if you look over here to your left hand in this section here you'll see that your printer has been added. Now there's a few things we need to do to make life a bit easier. And there are, where it says share this printer on your network, tick this box. So that anyone that's connected to your network will be able to share this printer. And where it says the default printer, Make sure your printer is selected in here. If not, click on this drop down arrow and select your printer there. And where it says default paper size, set that to A4. And that's it. Your printer is installed and ready and waiting for you to print. And now we're going to set up your scanner. If you have one of these printer scanner combination, then this is how you set up your scanner. Click onto the scanner tab next to the printer tab right here. Then click on open scanner. Then wait for your scanner to warm up. If you've got document in your scanner, then it will appear here and you're left over here where you'll see the area of your document is selected by these marching ants around the edges here 
and on your right in this menu you can change a few settings where it says scan mode select flatbed here and where it says kind you've got a choice of three in this drop down menu you can choose from text black and white or color the choice is yours I just leave it set to color for now resolution you can click on this drop down arrow here and choose one of these presets or you can type your own numbers in here auto selection leave that set to enclose in box scan to choose where you'd like to scan your document to we'll leave that set to desktop that way it's easier to find then we'll view the file and name we'll leave it at scan then we'll choose what format if it's a photo choose JPEG as the internet standard for sending and receiving photos and if it's a document choose PDF and you can tick this box if you want to link multiple files into one document and where it says image correction leave that set at none and now click on scan and your document will be scanned and saved on your desktop ready and waiting for you and that's it you're done now you can print to your printer and scan to your scanner and save your work until your heart's contented. Now if you like this video and it helped you, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Leave a like, subscribe, comment and share this video if you'd like to see more video like these. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now, Frankie B. Thank you very much.